what are the two items that I can't do my job without? And while I was thinking that, I was doing a fitting with an actor for a job that I'm doing at the moment, and the only thing I used was my brush and my comb. So I picked the girls in the office, um, and I couldn't do my job without them because they keep me sane. came home one day and said, I'd like to be a makeup artist, makeup designer, actually. I wanted to t turn people into different characters. And they're all like, oh, does that job exist? <laughs> what does she want to do? That's terrible. You, can, you can't make a living. So I had to explain to them that it's not just putting makeup on people to make them look pretty. It's basically, I just want to make people look different and be different people. I would say people recruitment, putting, putting people in places. My mum still thought that I was, you know, going to go to uni and be a doctor or a lawyer until very, very recently. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah she, she never understood what I did as a job. And then uh, she went to see King's Speech and saw my name in the credits. And finally, mm. then got very proud. she kind of, yeah, <laughs> understood. <laughs> yeah. Usually something totally different to anything that I've done before. So if I get some, if I get sent something that even five pages in is similar to something that I've read, it then becomes a quick, a quicker uh, skim. There's definitely uh, stories and periods and uh, things I've done before that I'm not really that drawn to anymore. Yeah, I agree. Uh, but I always, I obviously somehow uh, got to be known for someone who does a lot of character tr transformation. So there's always some challenging thing yeah. to do. And that definitely does draw me to um, being interested in 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 the film interesting characters interesting stories obviously the dialogue i kind of just think of it as a yeah. as a story and would i want to watch it is is my yeah. ultimate It's easier, I think it's easier for me in a sense because i already am presented with someone who people believe is a talent uh, to portray that role. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. so I, 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 then I have the confidence yeah. that that person, I can help that person become what we all want him to, uh, that person to be. To find someone from scratch and persuade people that that person is the right person, to me, seems harder. You know, I read Lilting and I was just sitting there thinking, oh, this would be an awful thing to cast because you need two Mandarin speakers and oh, you know, the poor person that's going to end up casting this, which did end up being me, but I really enjoyed the story. It's always finding different off, offbeat, quirky, mm. the unusual, mm. the unsuspecting. I find that more interesting. Just go above and beyond. Don't ever settle, you know, if you're asked to do something. I think a lot of the reason that I got to where I am today is because if someone asked me for A, I'd give them A plus 100. And, you know, sometimes that wasn't even looked at, nobody really cared, but I think there were certain situations where the things that I did were kind of off-piste and, yeah, maybe made me, made me stand out. And I think that's what, um, in the end, it comes down to is that complete dedication yeah. to the project and to that little bit of extra that you need to do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if something's not working out, you need to just work, I don't know how many hours extra to make yeah. it work. And that's what it comes down to. Yeah.